On the eve of Election Day, many voters may still be confused about Proposition 1, historical horse racing. KPVI News That Works For You reporter Deanne Coffin joins us now live from the newsroom to help us better understand the issue. Deanne. Prop 1 is really about if Idaho should or should not allow people to use historical horse racing machines to bet on horse races. I talk to those that are for and against it. Proposition 1 is all about trying to save Idaho horse racing. It authorizes historical horse racing wagering at locations authorized by the state to conduct live simulcast racing and to qualify, tracks must hold at least eight live days of racing annually. Save Idaho Horse Racing is a campaign to restore and revive Idaho's horse racing industry, which would bring back hundreds of jobs that horse racing creates and provide money for Idaho schools. KT Anderson, a track announcer for decades, says if Prop 1 doesn't pass, it will affect the state of Idaho. The horse racing industry will diminish enough that uh, the small tracks, the fair circuits will all close. Thus, uh, the farmers that sell the grain, the hay, the guys that shoe the horses, the people that clean the stalls, the jockeys, the track announcers, um, nobody wins. Everybody loses. And this is a $350 million industry. Why in the world would we want to kill it in the state of Idaho? Anderson says right now it's legal to bet on horse racing at the track. But if Prop 1 is passed, they'll be able to put historical horse racing terminals on side of the tracks and it will help stimulate the horse racing industry. These machines are going to uh, help um, increase the purse sizes, increase the number of horses that we have in the state of Idaho so that people won't decide to go to Wyoming and other states and run their horses where the purses are larger. All this money is going to go back into the racing industry to help promote the horses in the state of Idaho. Shoshone Bannock tribe officials say they are urging tribal members to vote no on Prop 1. They say if passed, this would primarily benefit a small group of private operators of racetracks as compared to tribal gaming, which benefits tribal governmental services, and a new source of gaming would compete with tribal gaming, which would reduce gaming revenue to the tribes. So the tribes as a sovereign nation, as a sovereign nation we rely upon uh, other sources of funding, which is gaming revenue. Gaming revenue really uh, assists our tribal infrastructure, our economic impact, uh, our economic projects. And so if we have this new competition, then it would decrease our gaming revenue, um, which would um, not suit the tribes. Teton says they're hosting the only tribal watch party in the state tomorrow night at 8 p.m. at the Shoshone Bannock Hotel Event Center. Both Anderson and Teton urge people to get out and vote tomorrow. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Deanne Coffin. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you so much, Deanne. Well,